Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in PAL world. Um, it's a bit of a different one, I'm afraid. I've recorded two episodes of PAL world back to back after I had done an update to my headset drivers, and unfortunately, my audio didn't record properly. So I'm having to record this. This is new me recording this over the videos I'm playing back. Now, rather than make you sit and watch all these videos of me trying to remember what I did on them, I'm going to condense these down. So the first one of the two videos was me moving my base. I listened to you guys. I heard what you said. Move your base somewhere a bit more space. I listened to you and I'm doing it. And in this video, you can see here, I'm currently breaking things down in preparation for removing everything else down to the bottom. And yeah, I rapidly overloaded myself. This was a common theme throughout this bit of the uh, this episode. I uh, constantly overloaded myself with the gear. So I was trying to drop as much as I can so I could move a bit quicker and use my parachute to jump off the hill. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play high speed snippets of this video to see me actually moving my base. And hopefully this will satisfy some of you. <laughs> um, I move it just to sort of the level below where we are. It's a bit, bit more open space down there. There's certainly more space to do things, I agree. Uh, this was the first base I built, the first time I really played the game, so... I was unaware I needed quite so much space. So yeah, thanks for that guys. I did listen to you and I have done it. So as you can see, I'm just finishing off installing the last few bits in my base. Now I've moved it down. Uh, following this, I actually decided to go and do a bit, little bit of hunting. Um, I, need, I say hunting. It was meant to be a collection, but with a daydream by me, I inevitably end up killing quite a few things um, when I was trying to capture them. Instead of trying to capture them. Um, yeah, so it was just a bit annoying that the video didn't, the audio didn't record on this. But you can see, I come back, I pretty much got everything moved down here now. Uh, and that's my base, more or less, done. Uh, I'm just picking some additional items which I need to be able to upgrade my PAL box. Uh, I was missing some bits. Um, obviously, I'm using the incubator to hatch all those eggs I received as well, which are giving me new and better PALs. And this is the end of the first of the two episodes I recorded. Uh, going just checking everything before I then ended the recording. As frustrating as it was to lose the first video with the moving of the base, which again could be quite boring for some of you guys, just sat watching me moving the base around. The second video was more frustrating because in the second video, in the second video, sorry, I decided to go and take on the. Um, Syndicate Thug Leader, I think it is. Um, in that tower, the one that kicked my ass a few episodes ago. So I thought, right, I must be strong enough now with a couple of decent pals with me to go in there and take him out. And, and that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm just preparing. I'm just looking at the various pals I've got with me, what skills they have, how useful they will be in uh, being able to take on the leader. Uh, I think I just look at this point at the... Uh, Gujaro, seeing what he could do for me. Um, obviously, looking more detail in his stats. Um, obviously, he's got one of these golden triple up things where he's quite tough. Yeah, I say triple up. Chevron, pointing up chevrons. Uh, so I'll take him instead of the Malpaca because I don't need the Malpaca with me. No, I didn't I swap him off for something else? Um, I decided to replace the Malpaca uh, with another Daydream, I believe. Yeah, there we go. So now I've got a day, two day dream, which I can have out all the time. I have my Chillit, the Crow Judge, and um, the Fox one, which I can't remember the name of. And I just come back, decide to fast travel. And here we are, the trust at the fast travel point by the tower. Uh, I see some syndicate thugs up there having a fight. I decide, do I want to go and join them? Or do I just want to concentrate on getting the bad guy? The big guy, sorry. Um, so I'm going to get some paladin that I can see lying on the floor. Uh, and then change my mind. So, you know what, let's just go and get the main guy. Um, that's what I intend to do this session. So let's just go and do it. It's 
checking the 10 minute countdown timer and then here we go He is one big, tough pal. Look at the size of fur on his back. Hey. Zoe and Grizzlebot Boat. Grizzle Boat. <laughs> yeah, at this point that I realised he's got like uh, 30,000 hit points. <laughs> As opposed to my, whatever it is, 1,000 or 700. <laughs> um, so release it, chill it. Um, I'm trying to just get round him to fire off some arrows. Uh, the Deirdrum just seem to stick with me and don't bother attacking him unless I get close. Yeah, I can quickly realise he's going to kick my bum at this point. And I'm thinking, oh dear, I'm going to die again. Uh, that's a chill it was frost again. So I'm just firing away my arrows. Realised he's got a lock on me there. And uh, yeah, I got well and truly zapped. At this point I'm thinking, oh dear, what am I going to do? How am I going to survive? I know, let's hide behind a pillar. Uh, my health was down, uh, my hunger was down, I realised I wasn't regaining any health. So I quickly refilled my hunger bar, and I just hid behind this pillar as best I could, let my chillet do a lot of the work, um, and let my health recover a bit. Yeah, I was really disappointed with the Deirdre at this point because I was expecting them to be more involved in the battle. But they didn't. They just literally hung around by me and um, only attacked when he got really, really close. Uh, the Chillet went after him. It's a shame I couldn't have another um, pal go and see See, now he's coming towards me, they attack him. Um, I run away again, hide, and they just come and hide with me. And, uh, oh yeah, one of them attacked him there. And now they attack him because they're attacking me. And I'm thinking, oh my god, he's still got 70,000 hit points left. And I'm down to uh, just over 200. So again, just happy to sit here and let the chill it do as much damage as possible. Okay, I'm just trying to keep an eye on my chill at this point to see how uh, badly wounded he is because obviously he's taken a hammering um, from this uh, baddie here. While well, trying to stay out of trouble, of course. And, and to be fair, the chill did a really good job. He did a good job hammering him, bringing him a long way down. Um, I'm now out of arrows and decide to switch to uh, spear, which rapidly gets me hit. Um, this is now becoming a problem for me because uh, little Chillet is about to die. And now I'm just trying to hide, let my health recover, stay out of the way of those shots. And he's down to 12,000 from 30,000, which is really good. And there's my poor Chile, he's now done for. And he instantly just starts hammering me. 
So now I'm trying to decide which uh, pal to go for, and I go for Mr. Frog. And he straight away starts attacking him. The good thing is he's a uh, tough skin, so he can take quite a hammering. Which is useful because um, I can't. My health is way down again, and I'm just trying to avoid him like the plague. Looking for cover. I'm wondering why my daydream aren't actually doing anything useful. Now down to 10,000. Oof, another hard, bad hit. And he's targeting me again, but I managed to avoid it that time. And then just get behind this pillar before he throws all these bolts out. Uh, sneak around, I give him a bit of a stab. Uh, he hits me and I run away again. <laughs> you can see the common theme here, can't you? Run in, attack him, run away. His health slowly coming down, and he's trying to target me to fire, but I might just hide behind the pillar. At this point again, I'm just going to get my health back up and my hunger back up, um, and I'm feeding my uh, pals. Can see they're quite low as well. Oh, and then I throw the wrong thing. At this point I launch the um, Fox Spark to start attacking him. And he is now taking a hammering from a uh, Mr. Crystal Bolt. But he's on fire at least and he's taking damage over time. <laughs> The good thing is actually quite fast that uh, Fox Spark, so he's, he's better at getting out of the way than the, uh, the pro froggy one was. I can't remember which day. <laughs> um, we're down to four and a half thousand. And I'm contemplating going and doing a bit more stabby stabby with my spear. Thinking I've got to help take him down. And just swapping pals again. And take my opportunity to run up behind him and do some damage. Uh, you can see your timer's down in two minutes, so we've got to get this over and done with. Fox, no, I didn't change. Oh, I left Fox Park out, did I? Okay, I thought I'd swapped them out. Uh, down to fifteen hundred health. Down less than a thousand now, and I try and capture him, and uh, yeah, that didn't work. All I got was shot for my efforts. So I'm just running away now, just trying to save myself, and then let Fox Park eliminate him. Which he does so. Yeah. And I suddenly find myself at a new fast travel tower on the top of his tower. I wasn't really sure if I was meant to get anything for that battle or not. Um, I was kind of expecting a, a drop of some kind, but it didn't happen. It's me just looking around, trying to work out where I am, what I want to do. Um, so yeah, that was our boss battle. 
first boss battle. And we managed to kill him. Feeling buoyed from that battle, I thought, you know what? The Pen King over there, he looks like a, a good target as well. So I went back to my base, I got Chillit um, re -he healed up. And then we went and had a look for the Pen King. See what we need to do this one. Now this guy is level 15, where the other one I think is level 13. That's not going to be too much of a problem. I made a load of arrows, I came prepared. Better armor, things like this. And, um, yeah. Things didn't quite go as planned. I started off trying to take out the Pen Kings, and I got killed in under a minute. The hero that I am, I thought, you know what? I can do better. I can get this guy. I just need to think about it a bit more. So get all my armor on. Make sure I've got all the right weapons and tools in hand. And here we go for round two. Surely I can last longer this time. Using my um, chill it there, trying to get one of these penkings by itself. Oh, and then yeah, big guy starts hammering me, and um, things go south very quickly again. So I think I'll hide behind the pillar like I did last time, work on me previous uh, boss. So if I hide here, he can't get me. Let my um, Daydream attack these, but no, these little ones came after me and flushed me out my hiding space. Um, and yeah, from that point on, it would just go one way. So defeat number two in almost as many minutes, and I thought I need to prepare better. Let's make sure we go better in a better prepared next time but obviously I've got to go back and get my kit first which is what I did I went back and I just got my kit beaten up twice two black eyes I thought yeah let's leave it for now let's just do a bit more exploration instead and that's kind of what I did for the rest of this session. It was just uh, running around exploring this this island. Um, obviously using my chillet as a mount because it just gets around a bit quicker. Um, and just seeing what was down here and on these hills and things. And that was it guys. Um, so yeah, I think I'll leave it there. I will be picking this back up again. Um, I did return to my base not long after this. Um, please hit the like and subscribe if you're liking this channel. If you like what I'm doing, please hit the like and subscribe and consider joining my channel. Any proceeds go towards upgrading my machine so I can make better videos for you guys. Um, I also run a Patreon page, or you can join me on YouTube, it's up to you. Or you could use Super Thanks if you don't want to do long-term commitment, just by hitting those three little dots at the bottom of the video and selecting Super, super Thanks. But for now, Strength Like Gamer wishing you good night.